Welcome to the Brighton scenario for Axis Operations 1940. We're going to skim through this briefing. The uh, British Navy is here in force. We brought some of our own ships. I'm not even going to try to support them. We'd probably have to have quite a few bombers and whatnot. I will not take the Spitfire. River Assault. I'll be right back. And right, I placed these units. Put the River Assault here on a Panzer Jaeger B1 with field repairs. Wander around supporting stuff. Not have to wait to heal. It can park itself on a river, etc. Uh, so I'm going to try to take out uh, some guys here. Guys here as well. I know they're there. Probably take some fire in the meantime. The real action uh, is going to be around in here. As you'll note from all the fortifications, that's where there are quite a few units located. Uh, Charles de Gaulle is going to show up in a, in a new Valentine tank, which is uh, has a better uh, defensive value, harder to damage. He'll still be relatively easy to dispatch, uh, I think, in the next uh, scenario. Epsom is just not so much so. Let's start. Uh, the Blucher has arrived, Lamb. How about you? We can make it here. Let's see, that sounds really as reasonable as, as really any. Alright, let's see what happens here. Ten points, and you... Uh, eight points. That sounds really quite as reasonable as not as well. So let's tenize you. We could have gone right in the city then. Oh well. Eight points. I think we can attack that. Ten points. We'll pull them back. We'll get uh, right here. And uh, we'll swing forward there as well. Let's see what goes on around here. Here, there. Can take um, that base. Theoretically, at least. We could do it. We can go there and displace those. And these are the hurricane and this. Um, Avro. Do we have any point in attacking anything other than aerial targets? Not really, not really. So maybe we'll do that. Rebase here. It's a nice sunny day tomorrow. So it shouldn't be really so much trouble. If uh, they take this base back, we'll just rebase. And use our fast rebase to go on about our way there as well. Let's see, uh, eight points, ten points, eight points, ten points, six points, ten points. How about you, eleven points, we'll take that. Fifteen points, six points. Eight points. Let's see. Um, ten points. Ten points. Yeah. It went reasonably well. Again, we want to. Uh, we could proceed in this direction, but the action. Um, is here already with our by and large support crew and um, I'm not really all that enthusiastic about dividing my forces uh, between a, a front here or here wherever it is we end up so maybe we'll just head um, up this direction and uh, see about proceeding up here 
we should be let's see you have the ability to scout there nothing much there but it's something of a distraction so nothing gets at uh, the Verdaja tank so we'll not really worry about it taking any fire because it won't uh, this guy um, these guys um, maybe the sooner the the Brits sink the the fleet uh, the better we'll, pull, we'll bomb the sky or bombard them I wonder if we could um, We've already done our thing there. Well, good enough. That's going to do it uh, next turn. It looks like he has uh, just barely survived it. Smack down on this guy here. I can't believe I did that. What, what, what did I do that for? Hmm. I seem to have blocked myself out of um, attacking that unit with recon. Hmm. I wonder if I can still overrun him. I can't though, no. Hmm. Well... Hmm. How about you? Let's see here. Let's sort this lot through here. Looks as though we could uh, apply some damage there, but it's probably a better use of our time. We'll apply some damage here. We'll go like that. surrenderized him. He had nowhere to go and we're happy right here. Okay, let's see if we can get um, the slaughtering started. We can obliterate this uh, vehicle there with our gun. And then we'd have to get uh, something up there in some way to take advantage of it. Let's see if we have any sort of other advantage. Well, there's one right there. We'll take it. Well, that works. We can get um, there and then um, they get stuck on the river. Yeah. Maybe we do and maybe we don't. Maybe we go right here and uh, not get stuck. Maybe we lose our end tank and wish we hadn't done any of that. Well, hmm. I wonder how far can you go? Uh, 
fair away as it would seem. I think we can do away with that um, anti-tank weapon right there. And the Verdaja, it's a 4-3. Almost get. To, I wonder if we could get there. One, two, three. No. How about you? Thirteen points there. Hmm. I wonder if we went like that on the river. Where can this guy go? I see. Let's heal you. I'm pretty sure we can um, go like that. Go forward like that. There another um, there he is there. This thing is a fairly major pain to deal with. I think it has anti-tank as well as um, a fair hard attack and soft attack. 7.2 inch. If we were to just make it go away, um, I see we split our fire and now we haven't done much of anything. Yeah. We let it know that we'll be not be standing for it. That's what we've done. And um, can the Verdaja go? It can, though. We'll get this guy there. Get you there. And um, we can go there and and back, even. And back, it would seem. That seems as reasonable an idea as not. We'll go there and back and be happy. Let's see, um, <clears throat> we'll go up here, and um, we'll get as close as possible there. And as long as we're here, um, hmm. Well, maybe we'll uh, hang out right here and see what happens. Doesn't seem to be any great need of reinforcing this effort. Let's see here. These guys, um, the Pradaja and the end tank there, they don't have any support. So... I also don't see any enemy fighters about, really. And we could put it to this guy here. What's his story? He doesn't have one. So, put him away. And uh, next turn it is. Uh, Kriegs, uh, Kriegs Marine is under attack. Uh, De Gaulle, I believe, showed up again here. So Matilda seems to have put it to itself. Alright. Hmm. May have advanced a bit too far from my own good. Oftentimes, uh, this iteration of the Gaul will advance on this river. And then um, you can put it to him rather easily. As to how we're going to do him this time, I don't really know. I don't really know. We'll find out shortly. So, um, let's see, they've, they've gone after our aircraft carrier there. We'll get them. Um, we'll get here, let's roll over here. We'll get that and get you. Attack there. 
So we have uh, 10 points. He should surrender if we do any damage to him at all. We've done it. So we can go here. And um, let's, um, let's get the heck out of this area. I wonder what would happen if we rolled up here and put it to this guy with our D-tank. Let's move out here as well. Alright. Um, is that the gall in a, um, a close hex there? I wonder if we move this guy here, what, how much damage we could do to Mad the Gaul. No retreat, no surrender, no supply, and prudent. I don't see anything about um, plus what not for having X amount of uh, combatants about you, or tenacious defender, or ignore entrenchment, or not able to be have his entrenchment ignored, or, or anything like that, really. So, if we roll uh, our Oladir Pioneer here into this hex, I think we just straight overrun him. That would be the, uh, the working theory. I wonder, let's see if we put it to this guy here. What are we doing now? 11 points there, 8 points. Let's see here, 1 point or 3 points. Three points. That should work, right? Ten points there. Boom. Boom. And then... Boom! It's all over for him again. Now all we need to do is get some support for that, uh, that unit there, as, as these guys are going to take, no doubt, great exception. I think they meant to do that. I think they drew me in, and now... Now we're in deep trouble. How deep? It's not exactly known as yet, but it's not looking exactly good for us either. We have uh, used all of our rounds on the end tank. We need to, um, I see, I see, hmm, hmm, 2-4, that's a 2-6 there, hmm. I wonder. I see. One artillery piece here. Let's there there must be a way around this. This is not though. Hmm. Maybe somehow we take this guy out. Eight points. We could just do away with him. It's ironic that we upgraded this, um, or we I sent this thing to the training mission. It has three and a half stars now, but I'm not running <clears throat> the uh, 15 centimeter. It would be very easy to run the 15 centimeter right up here to where the Verdaja is and support this with uh, artillery support. But now I find myself um, in something of a jam here. Let's see, 2-9. I wonder... We just made this guy go away. He'll not go away, though. Yeah, perhaps he will, though. Yeah, he will, though. <clears throat> that would leave the Verdaja free to attack this guy on the river. Two, uh... Let's see, uh... <clears throat> Eleven. Eleven, I see. Hmm. Well, I wonder what that does. 11 points is still. 3-7? I see, he's gotten away. The rascal. Well, <clears throat> we can stop the zone of, uh, create a zone of control here. Or here. This has plus two ground defense from one of these scenarios. Um, this one does not. 
G tank. Let's roll up here. <clears throat> see if we can push that guy back. Let's see, we have to take to the close to get worked over badly. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go up here as well. <clears throat> okay, we'll go here as well. I'll go here, there, and there. <clears throat> All right, man. Oh, look at that. All that, and for what, really, and for what? Yeah. We'll keep this guy out of the mix. <clears throat> I think that is everybody who can move. <clears throat> we'll just not worry about what goes on there with the fleet. Yikes. <clears throat> there are a few units about now. Our pioneer there has survived. One three, and I believe that we can pound the sky to oblivion and no longer worry about his antics. And I uh, see we have <coughs> another Vickers, Vickers in the in the house there. Hmm. I wonder. To heal or to <clears throat> hmm. you? Seventeen. Hmm. One, two, three, so we should be able to get off and forward. We have, we have. <clears throat> Sixteen. So we go say um, one, two, three, four, five. We should be able to get back out. Taking that and um, <coughs> we have almost uh, accessed that Vickers. Now this is uh, something of a problem down here. We just need to get the heck, um, I think, out of this area. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder what would happen if we went like that at one point. Seven? I'll go like that. Uh, ten points. Let's see here. Where's our other plane? It's here. I see him. I see three points, zero points. Let's see what goes on. We can move uh, to um, a base here. And then um, put this guy away here. Right there as well. Do we have the range? Uh, we do. Is this a swordfish a sea cap and another swordfish <clears throat> hmm let's see four points there seven points seven seven hmm Four, three, hmm. one round left. We could take that uh, Vickers out, but then we would be in big trouble, big trouble. What if we go like that? If we can get uh, 11 points, let's see. Hmm. 
I bet we can do it. Let's run off. <laughs> Overwhelming attack. We, we screwed ourselves, essentially. Did we, though? Let's see. Seven points. We have you. One point, four points. Mm. No points. It looks like we did. We did. We'll get four points here. Seven points. Ten points. <clears throat> we'll get that in ten. Go there for four points. How about you? You can't make it. We'll go here. We're happy here. Seven points, nine points, mm. eleven points. And, um, they can get here to attack that. Uh, well, why should I rush? Why should I not do it? We'll go there. This unit could have come up here to attack uh, this anti air, it probably wouldn't have ended well. Again, and then we have, have this lot here, I see. Okay, well, two points there. Let's do that. Three points, no points. What is this guy doing? Uh, two points there. Why should we do anything? We'll be happy right here. Mm. Let's take this guy out there. Fast rebase, we'll get out of dodge there. I never listen to myself. It says, British Air Force is not something to be trifled with. I've told myself that uh, like three or four times so far in this playthrough, but I never listen, and I almost lost my plus three air attack, three and a half star fighter. Yeah. Because it was off by itself. See here, it's, uh, eleven points.
let's just get back here we move quite a bit on the road there they can't get at this zone of control unless they're recon and if they are how about it we have this recon vehicle can take that nothing going well we may as well go there Two points, two points. We should really try to overrun something. Four points. Six points. We go like that. Two points, two points. Whoa, 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 whoa. You with six points. Let's take him out. Uh, should do it. We can go down here and will and will. We may as well um, move here and heal. Sure, that's it. Let's go. Let's see how <clears throat> well or how poorly we need. Can we get there? Let's send this uh, unit down here. I think if we sort of wander down to the shoreline with some of these units, like this one has survivor but not much else, we could take um, could take some fire, like say here. They know they're there because of this, uh, or we're there because of this city. So the British uh, fleet is about here somewhere, and maybe they bomb us or bombard us. As we have a fair bit of prestige, we'll go down there and see if it's a thing or not. Uh, we'll go right here as well. And we could, um, <clears throat> let's see. Proceed in this direction, Santi tank there, we're happy enough there. Let's heal you up. <coughs> Let's see here we have um have I lost an anti-air somewhere or on oh, the blue churn. Nope, I didn't, alright, good for me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No. Okay, I think 
that we can go like <clears throat> like that. You can move, um, you cannot. Um, that looks safe enough, right? We'll go like this. It's a zone of control here. They, infantry can't make it through. We'll heal you. And juice you as well. All right, next turn. Boom, boom, we've done it. Let's get the heck out of that area. <clears throat> How about this guy, let's see. He already has it, I think. Nope, no he doesn't. Well. Off he goes as well. We'll get this guy in a position to where, to where he can um, get down there as well. Let's see, you already have it. I don't think our pioneer unit has it as yet either. We'll probably do very well by it. want to get too close we'll go like that let's see what happens and uh, tank <clears throat> let's see we have quite a few turns left I would wager we really don't need to have the end tank up here as we seem to be doing well enough without its nor entrenchment, so we'll send it down for a plus two ground defense detail as well. And you, you need it as well. That's um. I don't want these guys shooting at these tanks because if they shoot at these tanks and not this recon vehicle, and then we won't get our plus two. This guy already has it. As does this. This is indicated by that blue stripe. I see. Hmm. Maybe we'll go up there and then back. We'll swing there with our anti-tank weapon, or do we want to get uh, a ground defense there? I think we can do it. We're not really worrying. Um, we'll move on up here. Nine points. Uh, we'll go right there here. I'll say right there as well. They could um, come from... no they can't. <clears throat> so, we'll head down here. This guy as well. Where's our other uh, scout plane? There it is. Let's move it forward here. That should do it next turn. to ground defense. We've done it. Let's get the heck out of this area. You need it as well. You need it as well. Let's go here. <clears throat> Let's heal you up. 
Let's see, we're gonna overrun this guy here. Let's see, we can move up here. We get bombed, we get bombed. I'm sure it would be nice to have the plus two on this thing as well, right? Hmm. Well, we may have gone the wrong way there. We'll get the line rolling along here. Let's see, where's our new base? We have one here. That um, probably does it. Two four. We'll be happy here and heal up. Next turn. ground defense we've done it again <clears throat> let's get um, um, the heck out of that area there how about you I think that should go well enough one two three four five is this one two three four five we want to get right here and hopefully we don't uh, Interfere, get bombed twice. If we do, it's trouble. So we have, um, let's paint this guy with a proper stripe there. We'll get him off um, away from the shore. We want him, well, we'll just leave him be here. Let's see if we can um, get a little something going here. One See, we can bomb this guy. Where's our other fighter? Oh, he's here. I think that'll do it. Uh, let's um, we'll go over here. Get that ready and um, wards plus two ground. Let's move it on out over here. We'll hold there. Next turn. Boom, boom. Done it. Let's get the heck out of that area there as well. 
Let's get the end tank um, in range here. Get you healed up. Again, we'll um, <clears throat> put the blue camo here so we don't know, become confused. This is a plus two ground up, right? Four points there. Let's see, this guy is, is done. I don't want to get too terribly close to the shore because they'll become interested in this area and not the other. So maybe we can snipe. I see. I see. We'll snipe them and leave. We could have sniped that guy. We'll do it. Let's snipe this uh, as well there. <clears throat> and we'll be uh, we'll be happy right here as well. Next turn. Plus two ground defense, we've done it. Let's get the heck out of that area. Get up here. Let's make it sure that um, we don't have run into any trouble here. Is there anyone to snipe? I'm sure there is. Everybody's looking good, and uh, next turn. Plus one, plus two, we've done it. Let's get the heck out of this area. We'll heal the end tank. We'll get you down there. This guy has the plus two, so we'll get over here as well. Plus two, he's got it. Plus two, everybody has it. Except, except this unit here. So we need to get uh, moving and get our 21 centimeter heavily damaged. Where's our other um, areas in? Next turn. Plus two ground defense, we've done it. Let's get, um, I think that's essentially everybody. So let's, uh, let's get out of this area. And on with the business of, um, trying to close this out. Same. Actually, we're almost we're almost there, but not quite. We wanted to get the 21 centimeters, some some points, seven some on there. Let's see. <clears throat> one and one. 
we can get here. I think we're good. Why are we down here? I don't rightly know, really. Next turn. Uh oh, we went the wrong way now. Hmm. Let's go over here. Try to get out of this area here as well. Now how can we get you to the war zone without being bombarded to oblivion? I have to do it in two stages, I think. We'll move uh, this guy right there see what happens let's see we can um, and try to put these guys away there next turn Bring it on, bring it on. Next turn. Oh, for God's sakes, they're over here now. We need to get the heck out of this area. <clears throat> Let's get here. I see. Well, <clears throat> we'll try it. We'll try it. They're probably all headed over in this direction here. I see. That didn't get me anything. Hmm. Next turn. Survivor. I see. Well, it's getting better. We just have one more turn before we have to move in and lower the boom on this guy here. This may be it. Boom, we've done it. Let's get the heck out of this area for sure. And we'll see about getting down and closing this out. Check the hero. Avenger, I see. 
Well, it's not bad. So let's see what happened there. Uh, this is the beginning of Epsom. All of these units should now have the plus two ground defense award every last one of them. Plus one. Plus one, wow. And, uh, boy, wow. Whoops. That's no big deal, uh, sort of. Uh, hmm. We got it for this one. This one probably has it more important than not, uh, as it doesn't really have a very good ground defense, and now it's, it's augmented by about 25%. These are not. They don't have it. And these should all have the plus two air defense from the um, Dunkirk. Okay, so that's that. I hope to see you in the next episode.